Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is super exciting because it's going to be a new series I'll be putting on my channel. This is going to be my first trimester must-haves. A lot of you guys know that I recently became a mom. I didn't post anything about it for the whole nine months, but I have tons of tips and tricks I want to share with you guys. So if you're expecting or you're in your first trimester, this is the video for you. Two tips. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jen. I post new videos here weekly. If you want to see more videos like this one, more mommy type videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything new. All right, let's get started. First, let's talk about health. One of the main things that an OB or a midwife or a doctor will tell you is to make sure you have your prenatals and your DHA. These are the ones that I use. I use them still today, even for breastfeeding, because it's really important to keep those vitamins up. And if you're not feeling well, especially in the first trimester, if you're not or you just don't really have an appetite, make sure you're getting in your vitamins. Two things you want to make sure you have a lot of in your diet is folic acid and calcium. Folic acid is usually in your prenatals and calcium, which you can get from yogurt, you can get from your supplement. And if you don't feel like you have enough of that, make sure you ask your doctor and see how you can get more folic acid and calcium into your diet. If you're feeling nauseous or have morning sickness, which I don't really know why they call it morning sickness because you literally feel like you're sick all throughout the day. So if you are like that, try some ginger tea and don't drink ginger tea on an empty stomach. Have some toast or cracker, something really easy on the stomach and then have ginger tea afterwards. That really helps me because if I drank ginger tea at the beginning of the day and just had an empty stomach, it would make it worse. I also like to have bars on hand, especially if I don't feel like having a meal. I love the keto bars. The good to go bars are my recent favorites and I kind of wish I had these bars back in the day because they're lower in carbs and sugars. More protein, which is good when you need to be full. One of the things that was really tough for me during the first trimester was cutting out coffee. You guys, I could not even function in the first trimester. There are research studies saying that you can have up to 200 milligrams of caffeine. For me, I wanted to cut out a bit of caffeine because I felt like I was dependent on it. So I was just weaning myself off of it slowly. And then I started drinking decaf coffee and also decaf Earl Grey, which I had for the most of my pregnancy and I was totally fine. Exercising is super important throughout all three trimesters. Even even when I was feeling nauseous, the only thing that would really help make me feel better is ginger tea and walking or exercising. I went to spin class up until probably the first week of the third trimester and it helped me so much. But really exercise does help. Even if you're feeling nauseous or gross, go outside for a walk, do some stretches. It really does help. I'm also going to link a few YouTube videos that I did throughout all three trimesters. One is a prenatal yoga one. It has like millions of views on YouTube and I loved it. I did it almost every other day basically for the whole nine months it was so calming and relaxing and it made me just feel really good and confident as well and some other ones from pop sugar fitness that I did just 15 minute workouts that are easy on the body low impact so it's not like you're lifting heavy weights or you're you know going for sprints it's nothing like that they're perfectly fine for pregnancy one of the other exercises you might want to start doing is pelvic floor exercises and you can google on how to do this but just imagine trying to stop a stream of pee. Those are the muscles you're trying to help strengthen your pelvic floor. It's what's going to help push out a baby. If you have strong muscles there, you're going to do yourself a favor when it comes time to deliver. You guys, if you're gonna take anything from this video, you must get a pregnancy pillow. You must, you must, you must. I ordered this off of Amazon and honestly, I have used it every single trimester. I still use it now for a different purpose, but I'll tell you that afterwards. This is great, especially in the the first trimester trying to get your body used to it because let me tell you by the time you start showing and by the time your back starts to hurt you're gonna want a pillow that supports your entire body move it adjust it if you want to sit up if you want to lie down if you want to go for a nap it's just amazing because it helps your spine stay straight and gives you support on your back which is really helpful and on your front when your tummy is big you have something underneath I'll link everything that I talk about down below so if you want to go check it out you can next Next up, I want to talk about reading material. I know a lot of people probably read what to expect when you're expecting. I have that book, but I don't want to recommend it because I find that it was a little bit too scientific and almost too scary to read. There were things in there that did not apply to my pregnancy at all. And I just read them and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get this or this could happen. And then I felt anxiety inside. So really that wasn't the best book for me, but for some people that might be a really good book. I read so many books in the first trimester. I think I 
overstimulated myself and just gave myself anxiety because I read so much and thinking what should I do I was just totally out of my mind I wanted everything to be perfect I wanted things to work I didn't want anything wrong or bad to happen during my pregnancy and I think that in itself was harming me I'm gonna link two below one is a cookbook it's called the whole nine months and I found it really easy to read it's a cookbook basically for each trimester and you can try these really healthy recipes it's also written by a doctor called dr. Jennifer Lang and has a forward by Jessica Alba so I thought you know what it was good and the recipes are really easy to make you'll also want to make sure you have a good water bottle I have two that I switched between one I got off of Amazon which I like because it comes with a straw and it's more just easy just at nighttime just to grab and drink instead of having like a bottle where you have to like flip open the lid but I do use the blender bottle every single day I still use it they're great for smoothies they're great for just water because it packs a lot and it's just easy to drink out of the spout nothing fancy but it works so these are the two bottles that I use for clothing during the first trimester I basically lived in yoga pants my favorites are the aligned pants from lululemon I have probably like five pairs of them they're great for the gym and they suck in in the first trimester you're probably feeling very bloated gassy so having something that flattens the stomach gives you support will be very very helpful and I'll feel a lot better following that you'll also want to invest in a maternity bra I didn't really feel too much fullness during the first trimester it more so happened in the second and third for me but in the first trimester if you are experiencing sore breasts or like you feel it's getting more full get something that's going to support it one of my favorites and this might also work better with women with smaller breasts I love the Muji bra it's seamless there are no lines it's just this very soft fabric you can sleep in it it just feels like you're wearing nothing and I absolutely totally recommend it I still wear it today from my first trimester till postpartum and that's how amazing this bra is the next thing I'm gonna show you is something that I use for my entire pregnancy and it's a waistband which helps secure a growing belly this and the pregnancy pillow were basically the two things that I use the entire nine months I highly highly recommend this because it's going to help alleviate back pain it's also gonna make your clothes look more flattering it's also going to make you feel like you have more security in your belly area now let's talk about skincare because I know a lot of you guys will be wondering about this I did not go full throttle there wasn't anything special or crazy that I did for my pregnancy I actually if anything dialed it way back I tried to put on as least amount of lotions potions creams body moisturizers even cleansers I tried to really limit it I just basically went naked just naked skin but of course I still did use things that were pregnancy safe a few notable products that I did use were a lot of Caudalie's products which I know a big part of their collection is pregnancy safe and also natural I just loved it I just had a lot of their products on hand so I just used them for body moisturizers I absolutely love the lush dream cream I used probably three full-size bottles of them I loved how it was just so nourishing my skin never felt dry it was just a nice thing to do to relax my body after a shower the other thing I used from Lush that I probably went through like four bars of is the massage bar the massage bar is great to use over your growing belly it helps with stretch marks it helps with easing itchy skin because let me tell you in the end of my pregnancy my tummy was super like hot and itchy and the only thing that really calmed it was the Lush dream cream and this massage bar my last tip I'm gonna give to you is about stretch marks I worried about this and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching if it's your first time or your fifth time you're worried about stretch marks and sometimes it cannot be avoided because they're genetic but there's no harm in trying another mom actually recommended this product to me and I absolutely love it I started using it in the first trimester I didn't even show really yet and I was using it as a preventative measure and I think that really does help because right now I can barely see a lot of my stretch marks that I thought were gonna be there for a long time this is what I attribute it to the same tummy oil is specifically made for stretch marks you guys it's honestly one of my favorite products that I use during my entire pregnancy and I hope you guys 
check it out because it really helped me. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first trimester must-haves. I have a lot of tips for you guys. If you want to see my second and third trimester must-haves, make sure you comment below and let me know. And for mamas out there, I'm cheering for you. I hope you do well. I hope you relax, take care of yourself, especially during this crazy time. Make sure you look out for yourself and your little one. And if anything in this video helped you, I am glad that it did. And if you have any tips to share with other mamas, out there make sure you comment below and let us all know sharing is caring thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in my next one bye for now